This is our family photo taken back in New Jersey at a church function. You see myself on the left, my mother, Augustia, my brother, Aaron, and my father, Charlie Davis Jr. Now my parents are no longer married, but they still remain friends. My father is originally from Tampa, Florida. My brother is still in New Jersey and he stands about 6'8". My father did remarry to this lady, Gladys Jean Glamerson. Now Gladys has two children of her own, which you saw their photos earlier. One is Michael, who is currently in the Coast Guard, and Stephen, who's retired Air Force. Memory loss allows a person to say the same thing over and over again. They repeat themselves constantly. They ask the same question. They comment on a comment over and over and over again. They see something on TV and talk about that over and over and over again. Maybe something happened in the last five seconds. They'll comment on that for the rest of the day. But memory loss allows the person to forget about bathing. They forget about their dentures. They forget about taking their medications. So being a caregiver is an arduous task. At one time, the person you're caregiving for has been the best dresser. You know, their hair was always in the right style, shaped nicely. Now it's up to you as a caregiver to make sure that their hair is the way it's supposed to be, clean and groomed. You know, at one time, you may have seen this person cook and drive. Now, this person, if they try to cook, they will start a fire. They will take the car and maybe not stop at a stop sign. You know, these are safety issues. You don't want your loved one trying to cook chocolate chip cookies, not alone that they have too much salt in them, but they're going to burn the house down. You know, not saying that the omelet's going to have a whole bunch of sugar. That's the least of your worries. You don't want the house to burn down. Grease fires. Happens all the time. Imagine if you had a person with memory loss not be well in tune to what they're doing, having all their faculties and taking care of the situation. Driving. If there's a left turn, there's low, no left turn to be made, and they're trying to do it, crash. That's, that's what's going to happen. There's going to be an accident. Uh, it's not stopping at a stop sign, not remembering, remembering to stop at a red light. These things are safety issues. You don't want your loved one out there doing those things. So cooking and driving are not options. So let's look now on who is a caregiver and what is caregiver loss.
He may have forgot that he was talking to me. In part one, you saw that clearly his memory was going in and out. Those type of things, as a caregiver, you have to keep in tune with. You know, sometimes he may forget his wife was in the room or was sitting down in the, in the bedroom or in the office nearby. Um, again, his memory comes and goes. There are a lot of things caregivers need to do. And I'm going to show you a list of some of the things that I have encountered. And I'm sure there are several more. At times, he may have forgotten about his medications. That's why I'm there. Sometimes his medications may uh, confuse him, even though we might do the same thing over each day, over and over each day. The insulin is a must. He does take insulin in the pen form which makes it a lot easier instead of drawing it up. So I recommend anyone who's taking insulin or has a patient who's taking insulin or, and you're a caregiver for them, uh, the pen is the best way to go. I believe in being a good caregiver or a great caregiver or outstanding caregiver is, is like being a marriage. You have to uh, understand the needs, anticipating needs of your loved one. Just like in marriage, if you understand your spouse's needs, things will go a lot smoother. So anticipating the needs is something you will get in the caregiving classes. The photos you saw earlier, you saw that they were joyous, happy at parties, activities, weekend functions, um, different type of things that he enjoyed. But now the cooking is done. There's no driving. We already talked about in that, talked about that in part one, uh, being there. And you are not alone in this. Again, you are not alone in this. And you are going to need a lot of help. You may not think so at this time, but having three caregivers for one person is not unusual. You may have yourself as a spouse or a relative, or you might be a, a part of an agency. Home health care provides a lot of in-home services, such as nurse services, religious services, possible physical therapy, and they also provide something that's called DME, Durable Medical Equipment, where they can provide hospital beds, a wheelchair, bedpans, etc. If your loved one is by themselves, that should not happen. They may be by themselves for a moment in the restroom for some type of privacy. They may be in the bed sleep for the independence and privacy, but you are not far away. Some people use baby monitors in the room that will help listen to maybe something that's going on in the room so you can kind of uh, be in tune or give some type of advantage that you're not eyes on, but your ears are definitely working. Decline is evident and it is going to happen. Um, getting better, reversing time may not, may not happen. Um, 
there are medications out there. Um, they're being tried out here in uh, Texas. But uh, for the most part, you want to just comfort them. If you are around the older adults, they want to be joyous, I think, festive, harmonious, something that is kind of lively. I recommend wearing a Hawaiian shirt. A Hawaiian shirt gives you a smile, uh, a feeling of, you know, being out there, not worrying about stress. You know, if you walk around into a location, if a store or whatever, people will smile, I believe. If you go to the register, they say, hey, I like that shirt. Or they might give you just, just the opposite. But trying to get yourself or letting your client feel that they're not in a sterile, a rigid environment. I believe that really helps them, you know, Thank you for tuning in on this segment of Today, Enjoy Yourself. Again, my name is Charlie Davis III, and today, enjoy yourself. Bye-bye.